In this video, we will learn what is script analysis and type of attacks. So first we'll go through the definition that is given. So script analysis is the science of studying attacks against the cryptographic schemes. A successful attack can be recover the plain text from the ciphertext, recover part of the plain text from the ciphertext and substitute part of the original message. Now next we will see uh, this definition and this example. So now here is the example how encryption and dec uh, decryption process happens. So now here we have the plain text and uh, sender is having the plain text using a key he will encrypt this plain text and convert it into the ciphertext and this ciphertext he will send on to the uh, this uh, channel this channel is assumed to be insecure channel now um, a receiver also has the key receiver will get the ciphertext using the key he will decrypt the ciphertext and will get the corresponding plain text now in this entire process this insecure channel uh, attacker can ha have access to it and get the ciphertext. So what in the definition that we have seen is crypt uh, crypt analysis is the science of studying attacks against the cryptographic scheme. So uh, the type of attacks we will be studying that attacker can do in this. Uh, so first we'll see, so what is successful attack example. So what we have seen that recover the plain text from the ciphertext. So now suppose our ciphertext is FDW here uh, and the plain text is cat. So we have used the Caesar cipher example shift by three. So plain text was cat and the ciphertext is FDW. Now this FDW ciphertext is uh, going through this insecure channel and attacker can get this FDW that we are, that is assumed. Now, if attacker can uh, get the exact plain text that cat from this FDW without using, uh, we know that the attacker does not have a key. Only using the ciphertext, if he is able to get this plain text, then that is called a successful attack. And the second one is if he can get the part of the uh, plain text. So suppose he is able to get CA also from this uh, ciphertext somehow. So that is also success, kind of successful attack. Or if he is able to substitute some another message or uh, alphabet of, of, of the plain text with some other value. For example, if he is replaces C by D, so that is also a kind of successful attack. So in this, we assume that adversary has the all the details of the crypto, uh, crypto system, including the algorithm and their implementation. So for example, uh, we all know that there exist algorithms such as DES, AES, Caesar Cipher. So these algorithms, even adversary you know that these algorithms exist. What are the process for in, uh, encryption and decryption? What are the steps for doing this process in each algorithm that we assume that adversary also have the knowledge. Now, so the security of the crypto system entirely depends on the secret keys, which is known only to the sender and receiver. So uh, then uh, we have the classification of attacks. So there are a uh, total six uh, kind of attacks. The first is ciphertext only attack. Then we have known plain text attack, then chosen plain text attack, adaptively chosen plain text attack, chosen ciphertext attack, and adaptively chosen ciphertext attack. So first we will see ciphertext only attack. So what is ciphertext only attack is attacker has the ability to obtain the ciphertext that we have seen in the first example that insecure channel from there attacker can get, can get the ciphertext and um, one must assume that attacker can get access to the encrypted message why because that is traveling to an insecure channel so attacker can get that uh, ciphertext so suppose uh, what is the example of ciphertext only attacks? So suppose my plain text was a Apple and I have not done any uh, encryption on this or any changes on it. I'm sending as it is uh, uh, this plain text on that channel and this uh, same exactly the ciphertext is also Apple. It is traveling through the insecure channel to the sender. Now, if attacker is getting able to get the ciphertext, only seeing the ciphertext, he can get the uh, plain text without doing anything. So this is called ciphertext only attack. Is that only seeing the ciphertext he is able to get the plain text without doing any operation on that. So that is called as ciphertext only attack. So second is the known plain text attack. Here, the attacker has the ability to obtain the plain text ciphertext pair. So, um, 
attacker is given uh, this play uh, uh, this plain text and cyber pair, pairs that is m1 c1 m2 c2 and m n uh, till m n c n so this m is the plain text and c is the cyber text now using uh, this information attacker uh, tries to uh, decrypt a cipher text for which uh, cipher text and uh, to uh, to get the corresponding message for that cipher text so that is called known plain text attack is that attacker knows the what was the plain text and the corresponding cipher text and whatever analysis he has done on these pairs using that knowledge he should uh, he should be able to decrypt a cipher text for uh, cipher text ct uh, for which he doesn't know what was the actual message so that is the task for him to uh, decrypt the the cipher text to get the actual, actual message empty if he is able to do it then that is called a successful attack then we have chosen plain, uh, plain text attack in this what happened that attacker has the freedom to choose the desired plain text and get the corresponding cipher text now suppose attacker wants some specific messages that needs to be uh, encrypted now apple mango or cat he will uh, give that as uh, as a plain text and he will get the uh, desired uh, cipher text for that plain text so now then after that he is given uh, the a cipher target cipher text for which he has to uh, uh, get the corresponding plain text so this attack assumes that attacker must for, obtain the whatever plain text cipher text pairs he wants and then do the analysis it means that uh, attack an attacker is given access to the uh, dec uh, encryption device only once so that we will see uh, with the example so here attack here is the example now here is the attacker this is the encryption device now attacker will be given access to the, this encryption device only once and then he can send any number of messages to the device so m1 m2 m3 till mn now with this encryption device will generate the cipher text c1 c2 cn so these are the cipher text generated by this encryption device now he will get these pairs m1 c1 and till mn cn so he will do some analysis on these pairs and after he is done with his analysis the encryption device access is taken from the attacker is that after he has completed analysis again he cannot request for the uh, new cipher text uh, new cipher text and he has to um, give, uh, he has to take access is taken from him. now the uh, now attacker is given these uh, target cipher text and he has to decrypt it to get the corresponding message now we have adaptively chosen plain text attack so this is uh, same as the previous attack so here uh, one more advantage given to the attacker is uh, attacker can uh, get the first uh, like he has the access to this encryption device encryption device he will send some messages get some uh, cipher text and he has this uh, as message and separate pairs he can do some analysis on this then again after this analysis he want to access this encryption device he can access for the adaptively choose the cipher text again he can access that uh, device and again he can generate the more number of pairs so he can switch between getting the pairs analyzing again getting the pairs again analyzing so he has the access to the encryption device for the longer time and then the target uh, cipher text is given to him for which he has to get the corresponding message if he is able to uh, do it correctly so that is a successful attack next we have chosen cipher text attack so in this what happened attacker can choose the cipher text of his own choice and get the corresponding plain text attacker is given access to the decryption device only once so for example here is the attacker so he can give the uh, cipher text of his own choice like c1 c2 c3 or cn to the decryption device and then corresponding um, decryption device will generate the corresponding messages m1 m2 till mn so this attacker will get this uh, pairs like m1 c1 till mn cn so he will do some analysis on these pairs and after he is done with his analysis so that decryption device will be uh, taken from him and then the target cipher text will be given to him for, uh, and he has to guess the uh, using this uh, pair in, uh, knowledge this pair analysis and knowledge whatever he has done he has to guess the corresponding uh, uh, plain text for the tar uh, target cipher text and if he is able to do it correctly uh, then that is called a successful cipher text chosen cipher text attack 
now the adapter which uses cyclotex attack is the same as the previous one the same thing uh, here here also you can switch between getting the pairs doing analysis again getting the pair and doing the analysis so he can he can first get the pairs and do some analysis and again request the uh, decryption device uh, for the uh, message and cyclotext pair uh, so he can continue till, uh, for longer period of time so he has the access to the decryption device for the longer period of time and then adaptively choosing cyphotext attack is the best attack from all the six attacks that we have seen till now. Uh, thank, you. thank you guys for listening up till here.